Hi guys. We're headed into week eight of our eight week challenge. So the final week. Um, and when we started this whole eight week challenge, we were all in lockdown or self isolation, whatever you want to call it. And really didn't have anything else going on in our lives. Well, I know I didn't anyways. And now here we are in week eight. Uh, life is slowly getting back to normal. And we may have a few more distractions that are maybe tempting us to just give up and quit. Not see this final week of the challenge through to the very end. And I get it. Life is, is picking up, life is getting back to normal, and we have distractions. It's summertime. Summer always seems to have more distractions than any other time. There's, there's beer to be drank, there's friends to, to hang with. However, remember last week I talked about boundaries. So this, this week, I want you guys to, to stick to those boundaries and see this challenge through right to the end. It is so important that when we commit to something that we fully commit to it. At the beginning of this, you guys invested some money and you have invested some time into this program, into this challenge. Now, isn't it worth finishing it right to the end to see your full investment pay off? Now, maybe you aren't close to your, to your goal or maybe you reached your goal a while ago. It doesn't really matter what, if you did or if you are still struggling or still working towards your goal. Just know that by finishing this challenge completely to the very end, you will begin to build a sense of confidence in yourself. When we commit to something and we see it through right to the very end, no matter what the end result is, we begin to teach ourselves that we can do anything that we set our minds to. If we just stick to it, if we don't listen to that little nagging voice that says, ah, it's a one week, fuck it, I'm done. I, I'm over this challenge shit. Um, <laughs> don't listen to that little voice okay um you have to in the final week as you get closer to that and you have to dig a little deeper because it's so easy to just say oh it's one week it's not going to get me to my goal or i've made my goal i don't need to finish this well one of the goals that we should have all had in place when we started this challenge was, my goal is to finish this eight week challenge right to the end. So if you didn't have that goal, put it in place now and make sure that you finish this challenge right to the end. It is so beneficial, you guys, it really is. It teaches you, like I said, that you can finish things when you, whatever you start. Whatever you start, you can finish. And you have taken the time to invest in this challenge. Like I said, you've put some money into it, you've put your time into it. Why not see it right through to the end? This is an investment in you, okay? Um, so it wasn't a huge financial investment. And the time is, oh, really eight weeks isn't that long. May, seem, may have felt like it when we were at that fourth, fifth, when we, you know, that struggle bus hit us. Um, excuse me, I gotta sneeze. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh. Oh, itchy nose. Okay, anyways. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, we're on that fourth, fifth week when the struggle bus hit us. The eight weeks may have seemed long. However, here we are, the final week. Let's see our, the investment in ourselves through to the very end, okay? And this may have been 
just an investment of knowledge. Giving you guys the knowledge, the tools, the power to work on getting to your goal. So maybe you're close to your end goal, maybe you're not. It doesn't really matter. If you aren't anywhere near your goal, change the end date. Be flexible with your goals, okay? Don't, don't be so stuck to, I need to be this by this date because Life doesn't work that way. Um, it throws you curveballs. It throws you things that are going to take you off, off track for a little bit. The main thing is that you get back on track. So this week, get back on track, okay? Finish strong. Um, <laughs> if, if you work out with us at the gym, you will hear as coaches in the final minutes of the WOD begin to cheer you guys on. You don't need the cheering on in the first minute or two of the wad you guys all have it in in spades you got this it's in that final minute or two that we begin to struggle and and that voice kicks in and says we can't do this well as a coach i'm encouraging you you guys got this finish it to the very end and feel that sense of pride in yourself for taking something on and seeing it right through to the end no matter what the end result is. You will begin to build so much confidence in yourself when you do things like this. Because you can look back at it and go, yeah, I, I finished that. But feels good to be say I, I completed an eight-week challenge. So, seriously, guys. I know it's the last week, and it's so easy just to say, fuck it. And really nobody's going to come around and, and penalize you for saying it, for, for giving it up. But there's going to always be that little voice in your head that says, why didn't I finish that? I only had a week. So why not finish it and have that little voice in your head go, yeah, you finished it. All right, way to go, guys. So as you go into this final week, Give it all you've got. Leave it all on the floor, as we always say in the gym in the last minute. Exhaust all of your tools, the, the stuff, the knowledge that you guys have learned over the last seven weeks. Use it all. Dig deep and keep driving forward. It's one more week. You guys got this. Don't give up on your dreams. Like I said, even if you're not even close to where you want to be, you have learned, you've taken steps and you have learned stuff that's going to get you to your goal in the last seven weeks. So don't give up on it now. Don't ever give up on your dreams, guys. Keep working towards making them your reality. Just one step at a time. Keep shifting. Shift your thoughts, shift your actions, your behaviors. To reflect what it is that you truly want. So whatever that goal is, keep shifting, keep changing, change for yourself, no one else. And let's finish this challenge strong, knowing that we are more than capable of seeing it through to the very end. You guys got this. Take care. Bye.